Jeff Estrella, it's Jeff Estrella. How are you guys doing? Yeah, Jeff! Woo! Oh, this is my first time doing this. Yay! I'm Young Jokes. <laughs> wow. You're really pretty, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. I thought I recognized you, but it turns out I just surfed E Harmony too much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be low. I'm sure she's got a great profile. Um, any of you on dating sites at all? Did you guys meet through dating sites? Anybody here? No? You're a bunch of liars. I've seen your faces. I tried this one called Lava Life, and they have three sections. Dating, relationships, and intimate encounters. Basically, intimate encounters means let's fuck them. And uh, what I realized is people put up three different profiles. And I was making the mistake of picking the dating profile all the time, getting to know a girl, and then I would look up her other profile on intimate encounters. For dating one would read, I like long walks on the beach. For intimate encounters one reads, Let's meet up tonight! <laughs> Fuck, I should have picked door number three. <laughs> Could have saved myself a movie and a dinner. Are you guys okay? Do you want to operate out right now? Is that what has to happen? Because <laughs> if you look under your chair, there's some gum. You guys have all want gum tonight. Yeah, so I'm doing the eHarmony thing now, and, uh, and I got an email from them that said, Hey, uh, we ran out of profiles in the GTA. How do you feel about going to Kitchener? <laughs> <laughs> Which I responded, I have a dick, I will travel. <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl for about four and a half tanks. <laughs> Things aren't really coming out of it, but you know what? I'm getting awesome Petro points. She kind of ended it when I asked her for a gas allowance. So now I, I started seeing another girl and she just dumped me. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and uh, she said, she said I was physically ready, but emotionally not ready. I don't understand that. Aren't we always physically ready? And the dead giveaway should have been the box set of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> that should have been the dead giveaway. But she had no aversion. Like I couldn't touch her. She wouldn't let me touch her boobs. She wouldn't let me do anything. But she had no aversion to giving me blowjobs. Guys, at that point, we've won. It's like finding an extra 20 bucks in the bank machine. You're just gonna take it. So to make the, you know, I tried to make the, the relationship cool. I tried to make it exciting. I took her Black Creek Pioneer Village. Don't go, guys. Those guys are living in the past. I had an argument with the typesetter because I was trying to use my Wikipedia knowledge, and I was like, so when did they come up with offset printing? She's like, that's 1890, we only do 1867. I'm like, you're not in the past. You're here. We have printers. Uh, you guys are really quiet. You're making me nervous. Oh, being overweight, you know, that's, uh, yeah. God, you're really pretty, I'm sorry. I just need that. Um, it's probably you feel that way because you can sense that I live at home with my parents. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm 35 and I live with my parents. Or I still like to call it my master's in home economics. That's what I'm taking. Uh, I get to do cool stuff like go to the gynecologist with my mom. Because I'm... Uh, I'm Portuguese and I have to end up filling out all the forms uh, for my folks. So I went with my mom uh, because my dad thought it would be funny. And we're filling, we're sitting there and uh, I'm filling out the forms. I'm all nervous, like what's going to be on this form? And I'm filling out the first name and last name. Please kick. And then I flip the page. And I know you guys haven't been to the gynecologist, but you ladies have. There's pictures on those forms diagrams, and uh, I had to ask my mom, do you, um, do you have any nipple discharge? 
When she responded, no, but once in a while there's no. <laughs> Guys, my mom's seven years old. I thought those were sweat stains. <laughs> Do you know what's harder than asking your mom if she has nipple discharge? I'm scared she doesn't need discharge from down there. And I didn't have the word for vagina in Portuguese, so the closest thing I could come to was corner, because it's like the corner of the legs. Uh, or as some people know it, the skittle box. <laughs> and the Portuguese word for corner is C-O-N-T-E. <laughs> and the E is silent. <laughs> So I started to ask her all these questions about her corner, went to leave, and these old ladies were looking at me with scowl. They're just like, mm, you're a bad person. And I was like, what's wrong? And then I realized, I've just been calling my mom a cunt for the last 15 minutes. I'm Jeffy, have a good night. <laughs>